Hey everyone, Rick here, and I just received my latest Lego shop order, and I thought, I, as I was already opening one box, I thought, well, maybe I should take a quick video, like I did the last time I got a Lego order, uh, just in case anyone's interested. So, um, this is definitely not as large of an order as the last one I placed, but there is still some really cool stuff in here. So in box number one of three, we have the Death Star Final Duel set. And just that whole scene looks so cool. I love the minifigs that come with it, and that should be a lot of fun to put together. And then next, the Ant-Man set. And so if any of you are familiar with the superheroes line of Lego sets, you'll know that this is the one and only Ant-Man set that they've put out. And I wouldn't be surprised if they don't put out another one. So I also just love the look of the figures. What I do a lot of times, especially when the figures look that cool, is I'll cannibalize them and uh, for their pieces to make custom figures. And then we have the Junior's Family House. And I love this set um, because of all the details that it has inside the house. I do have a lot of uh, other Lego homes and Lego town sets, and I think this is going to fit pretty seamlessly right in amongst the rest. I wish some of the other Lego homes had this detailed of an interior. And my favorite set from the new Ultra Agents line, um, Animatter's Portal Hideout. It, I know some people thought it was kind of pricey for what you get, but I just love the fact that it's a, an actual standing base instead of yet another vehicle. Plus, I love the antimatter figure and the, sh what's his name, Sharks. That's cool, too. The Agent's Boat, I'm not too keen on. But this set itself just looks really cool, in my opinion. Some people are going to love that huge ship, which I think is cool, too. But I'm more into a stationary base instead of a ship. So then we have some advertisements, free Legoland tickets. And then... The latest online promotion was this free space car cruiser poly bag. So that's always cool to get one of those, especially if I'm going online to place an order and I'm not expecting to get anything like that. It's neat to have. Okay, so that was those. And then we have some really exciting things. As if those weren't exciting enough, we do have some more exciting things. So let me see if I can move this box over here. And these last two boxes I have, whoops, I have not yet opened, so we'll be surprised together with what's inside. And this first set up top is going to be kind of a hint at things to come. This is the latest Lego train station. And I mean, even if you didn't have a Lego train, this is still a really cool building or structure just to have on the outskirts of your Lego city setup especially with all the details that are inside there, the little restaurant, and of course, the little Lego store. And it comes with a taxi and just your typical townspeople. You could even maybe, well, I don't know, you could maybe even put a tram on those train tracks. And then, the latest Lego passenger train. This is the high speed passenger train. 
I read a lot, I've read and watched a lot of reviews on this set before picking it up. And one of the common complaints was there were no doors to open or close to get the passengers and crew in there. And I agree with that. I wish there were some doors. Um, but I still think the train itself looks really cool. And I like that it has the crossing there and kind of a little, kind of a little station stop. But yeah, that looks great. And so, and with this, this is actually my first foray into Lego trains. I've never owned a Lego train before. So that's pretty cool. And then the last box. I've been obsessed with watching reviews and Lego train videos online recently, and I just thought, you know, I've always kind of liked model trains, and I've obviously loved Lego forever, so why haven't I picked up any Lego trains? And of course, realizing that now, I've missed out on some great trains. But at least I'm caught up with what they currently have out, and you'll see why I say that in a second. And then of course the new Lego City Square. Have to get that if you are any self-respecting Lego City Town fan. I mean this just has so much great stuff. Car dealership and service center, Lego shop, TV station, news uh, helicopter. There's your tram train with a little station for it. And of course, your little coffee shop. Very cool. Oh yeah, pizza and hot dog vendors. So that's awesome. And that'll look good right in the middle of this new train layout I'm gonna try. And it'll also look great along with my second Lego train that I've ever got, the uh, Lego cargo train. And so having this train running alongside the passenger train should be a cool setup. And they're even coming out with a, no, a new cargo train. It's already out in Europe and the UK, I think, from what I've seen online. But I have not seen it anywhere in the US yet. But I thought I'd pick this up, and I do intend to get the new one also. I wanted to grab this before the new one replaces this one entirely, if that's what they're planning on doing. So at least I'll have this. I just love the cable wire spools and the cattle car and just some basic pallet action going on there. And I do really like the look of that cargo train. Very cool. I'm not too knowledgeable on different kinds of trains, but whichever that one's supposed to resemble is okay in my book. So, that pretty much covers my latest Lego order. And I've moved into my new house in case you don't recognize the background here. And because of that, I also now have an entire room dedicated to just Lego sets. And I'm in the process now of putting up shelves. I've already moved all my Lego sets over. And soon it'll be time to stock the shelves with all the sets. And I also have a custom uh, table coming that will be put in the Lego room. And it's really cool. It's almost like a five and a half foot by four foot table. And it has kind of a raised lip around the edge. And it's smooth in the middle. So when I'm pouring out bags of Lego pieces, they won't roll over the edge of the table, which is a huge problem that I've had recently. And so that'll be really cool, and then I'll probably take some videos once I get that all set up. But in the meantime, as always, thank you for watching, and until next time.